Polls have just closed in Kentucky. Voters in the bluegrass state are picking a new governor. That race pits Republican Matt Bevin against Democrat Jack Conway. Local 12's Anjanette Levy is live with the Bevin camp. Joe Webb is with the Conway supporters. Joe begins our coverage live in Frankfurt. Joe. Well, Rob, they are ready for a party here at the Civic Center in, in Frankfurt tonight. Democrats are confident that they will win and hold some of the seats down the ticket and are cautiously optimistic that at the top of the ticket, candidate Jack Conway can hold on to his narrow lead in the polls and that that will hold up at the ballot box. Now, Conway and his wife Elizabeth voted this morning at the Knights of Columbus Hall in Louisville. Conway, no stranger to the ups and downs of election, of election days. He won two terms as Kentucky's Attorney General, lost a Senate bid against Rand Paul, and a race for Congress several years ago. Conway supports Kentucky's Health Exchange Connect. He is a proponent of more treatment beds for heroin addicts and won't push for tolls to build a new Brent Spitz Bridge unless the local politicians are unified on that issue. He says, if elected governor, he will work to support Northern Kentucky. I want to make the people of Northern Kentucky to know that I think that's an incredibly important region of the state. It's a vibrant region of the state, and I want to do all I can to help it grow. We will be here all night, Rob. Polls just closed, as you said, so we don't have any results to talk about, but we should know in an hour or so if indeed what have here tonight is going to be a party. Spoke with Kenton County uh, Clerk Gabriel Summy just a few minutes ago. She said everything's gone smooth up there in Kenton County. And she says that she's predicting about a 24% turnout. So not a great turnout, but they weren't expecting a great turnout. Rob? Joe Webb in Frankfurt, thanks very much. We'll talk again. Matt Bevin